Hello, welcome back to Family Investment. Today, I want to speak about dark trades. The quarter three trading update has just been released. It's all great news, but yet the stock has fallen. So I'm here to discuss about what's happened last week, what's happened this week, and what will happen going forward on my own personal perspective. Eight days ago, when JP Morgan released that dark trades isn't a great fit and it caused the share price to tumble despite rising from the lows of 330 all the way to five dollars what jp morgan was saying is annual reoccurring revenue the arr of 24 to 29 percent isn't great fit they think they might mess that a push even lower and they've quoted that the threats from microsoft amazon and other cloud companies are predominantly will be a threat to dark trace but how is it possible because dark trace are an entirely different cyber security threat defense so let's bring up this trading update letter. Very important. If you're an investor, you should read through it and make your own opinion. But I'm sharing with you mine just now, the highlights I've picked up just now. So they started off with a strong quarter three year to date performance leading to an increased expectation for financial year 2022. As an investor, you'll be proud to be receiving a letter like this as, piece, as a shareholder. And it kicks off with the likes of adding new customers, 359 net new customers. Now we're closing in of close to 7,000 customers. Year on year, 37%, approximately 0.8% points. And then customer gains through the first March through acquisition of CyberSprint BV. Again, great news. It shows the great healthy cash flow going forward. And now in the fourth paragraph, they're saying the reflector 46 per century year on year, approximately 1.4 points in the cyber acquisition. So it's great. It's going to increase the revenue with the acquisition. It's going to push their portfolio even bigger and acquire even more customers. So this is very positive for the company, this young running up front against all odds. And what made it to redefy JP Morgan is the ARR growth between 40 to 41 percent, previously 38 to 40 percent, which implies the overall year growth of net ARR is between 29 to 34 percent, previously 24 to 29 percent. So they're actually recording high with this distribution of revenue growth. So JP Morgan, you can suck it because they have redefined, they have updated the trading just for you guys to reassure that they are doing well, even spending more to acquire Cyber Sprint. And then coming again, I'm trying to find the reason why they fall. So I'm digging into deeper this, trying to think. So where we're coming from is the consistency expectation is all about the expenditure. Great young company, supposed to be high cash flow, but they did announce that the percentage revenue of second half financial 22 will see an increase in cost because people coming back to work, they have to employ new people. So overhead expenditure will increase. They will impact the net profit. That's reason number one. Okay, but I think the real reason for why there's a sell-off is this upcoming event on the 1st of May. Remember, this is an IPO company and there's an IPO pool slot. So on the 1st of May, there'll be 85.5 million shares being distributed, being released. So early investors who have made the 20, 30, 40X as an early investor will be allowed to sell their stocks then. And then they have to put something in place to orderly allow folks to sell their stocks, which will occur on the 1st of May. So perhaps this early sell-off by 15% drop today is people taking profit, traders taking profit, expecting a huge sell-off. Remember, previously the sell-off wasn't that great. People actually held onto their stock. But now this is a massive release of $85.5 million share. So potentially this could happen more people selling their stock. Why? Why do you think this is bearish, Alex? Because remember, look at the climates around you. All the other tech sectors like the FANGs, AMD, NVIDIA, Tesla, they're all on the cheap just now. Apple, Microsoft, they're all on the cheap. So if I was an early investor who made 30x from dark trades, I'll be risk transferring this profit over to mega cap companies in this very bearish cycle that perhaps might be the sentiment that everybody feels that might be the reason why people are selling off dark trades and hopefully come back later so i thought i present to you honestly and transparently the company is doing great expenditure might increase but the ipo release will be a pain in the backside where people sell their stocks and cause a selling pressure to push the share price down despite the fact that the company is performing well. So you decide if you want to hold or sell. So something I need to sit back and think as well on my horizon as an investor, if I'm holding on to dark trades long-term or if I see opportunity elsewhere to risk transfer. 
So something that we have to think deeply and something I will share with you today. Hope you find this useful. Thank you very much. My name is Dr. Alec Cho, and please hope to see you in the future and I'll share more dark trace point of view if I find more news. Thank you, take care and good luck. I hope you enjoyed that video. Check out our website link below. More videos up here. Bye. Bye.